Hey guys, what's up? I'm here with a new phone. And look at my YouTube here on Happy Hunter, my YouTube here. I'm at 614 so far on my YouTube here. That is pretty cool, yo. And look at my... I got some new people. Cool, yo. I love all of them so much. Tonight, a Sheldon and his staff are very much community-minded people who would do anything for anyone else, uh, give the shirt off their backs if they had to. So uh, that's what Cape Breton's all about. Uh, we we help each other. Cape Breton Regional Police have now deemed the fire suspicious. They've referred it to an arson investigator for follow-up. We feel like we serve our community well, and they're definitely um, giving us that back tenfold during our now time of need. Nemus says all wakes and funerals scheduled for this week will still go ahead, and that no remains or ashes were in the building when the fire broke out. It's unclear what they'll be able to salvage, but they do have insurance. For now, her message to the public is a simple thank you. The outpour that came through to me and through our website has just been overwhelming. Um, and to see that we hold such a special place in people's hearts is really touching because a lot of people hold special places in our hearts, too. The investigation into the fire is ongoing. Ryan McDonald, CTV News, Sydney. A 17-year-old girl has died after a single vehicle collision in Nova Scotia's Annapolis County. Police say the car she was driving collided with a utility pole last night on Highway 201, just west of Bridgetown. The driver was taken by ambulance to a nearby hospital before being airlifted to Halifax for further medical treatment. Police say the driver, who was from the area, died in hospital. Four Fredericton area schools are on the chopping block after a district education council voted them to close. Their solution is to build two new schools in their place. But as CTV's Laura Brown reports, that's an expensive fix for a province trying to watch its wallet. After months of meetings and research, Anglophone West School District's Education Council voted last week to close four Fredericton Elementary schools and replace them with two bigger schools. It would mean merging two schools on Fredericton's south side, Liverpool Street, which has 323 students, with Forest Hill and its 126 students, and two on Fredericton's north side, McAdam Avenue, which has 66 students, with Nashwax's Memorial's 351 students. Aging infrastructure and overcrowding is the main reason, but for McAdam Avenue, there's too few students. I like this school because I've got here since kindergarten. Parents and students at McAdam Avenue have been the most vocal, saying they like the school. Well, my YouTube channel is very good. My first one. Also, I'm still working on my second channel. Community, but these parents say they're also sure. open to adding more students from Nashwax's memorial in order to keep the school open. Yeah. Adding the province can't afford to build more schools right now. They still have overcrowding, and we have underutilization. So how do we make it so that it's financially responsible for a province? I think that's important, and I don't think they're paying enough attention to that because the new school is $35 million in their books. Several parents at the other schools were pleased at the thought of a new school. CTV News requested an interview with the education minister, but was simply sent a statement, saying the minister hasn't received any notice from the council regarding these closures yet. According to the policy, once he receives notice, he has 30 to 60 days to respond to the recommendation, Last week, Dominic Carty did mention he intends to do a review on school closures in the province. We had a platform commitment to look at reforming that system, so we're going to come out with a report in the next little while on that. Carty said he plans to have some of that review done before an education summit planned for May. But we are limbo. These parents say they'd like more information so that they can prepare for whatever the future but holds. But, guys, you should check out my, my first chair, too, guys. Pickup truck sure. crashed into a Circle K convenience store in Lower Sackville late yeah. last week. One of them is a young employee of the store named Dylan, and the other was a customer. Today, the store remains temporarily closed. Let's go watch um, a few now. Within hours of the crash, a 
fundraisers were set up asking for donations to help Dylan's family. Request this for you.